Hello everyone, long time no see. So this is my uh, first video after after taking a break uh, in the YouTube channel. So I hope that I uh, I have time to upload more videos in the in the YouTube channel. And this time uh, we are going to talk about uh, this guy Gabriel's wedding cake. And you may know that uh, the Gabriel's horn, which is a uh, very famous, that it has an infinite surface area but a finite volume which is quite um, mind-blowing but what about uh, if we have a discrete analog of this Gabriel's horn which is called uh, the Gabriel's wedding cake as you can see is um, is is shape is shape is like a wedding cake so let's go ahead and see uh, what is this in order to make the Gabriel's wedding cake we define a function fx which is equal to 1 over floor of x. So what is the floor function of a variable? For example, like we if we take the floor of 3.5, we will take its greatest integer, which is not greater than 3.5, which is 3. And by this case, we can define fx, this new function, into many sub-intervals. For the first interval, we take x, uh, which is between 1 and 2. And for this interval, we will take 1 over 1, which is 1. And for the next interval, between 2 and 3, we will take 1 over 2. Because any value between 2 and 3, we will take x as 2. And so on and so forth, we can, we can define for x between n and n plus 1, we will take this, the value as 1 over n. So graphically, we can, we can say like, for 1 and 2, this interval, we will take the value of a function 1, and we will have a horizontal line here. And then, for the 2 and 3, we will take uh, 1 over 2, 1 over 2. Well, which is not in scale, right? Sorry. And we will have another horizontal line. And we will have many, many infinite horizontal line with decreasing height. So to generate the cake, we will rotate the previous function about the x-axis. And we will have the solid of revolution of this shape. And to calculate its volume, we will focus on one part of this cake. And we would like to rotate this cylinder by 90 degrees, which is like this. And now the height of this cylinder goes from n to n plus 1, which is equals to 1. And then its radius is the distance from the x-axis to the height, uh, to, the, to the upper parts of this uh, horizontal cylinder, and then which is equal to 1 over n. So, we use the formula for the volume of a cylinder, pi r square h, which is pi times 1 over n whole square times 1. And we are taking the summation from n equals 1 to infinity. And let's focus on this summation. Since pi is a constant, we take out to the front, and then we are leaving from summation from n equals 1 to infinity, 1 over n square. And this sum is equal to the Euler's famous Bessel problem. And it has the value of pi square over 6. So the volume of the wedding cake is pi cubed over 6. For the second part, we are going to calculate the surface area of the cake. And we will divide the process into two parts. And the first part, we are going to calculate the ring portion. So where is the ring portion? And for the first ring, we are calculating this uh, large ring, and then the middle ring, and then the small ring, and then we are going to do it infinitely to find the total area of all the rings. So how can we do it? And we are also focusing on one portion of the cake which start from the n 
to n plus 1. So we know that this ring, it has the area of pi r square for the r which is equal to uh, 1 over n whole square minus pi the smaller radius 1 over n plus 1 whole square. And we are taking the summation from n equals 1 to infinity. And this summation is a telescoping series and is exactly equals to pi times 1. So it's the area of the ring parts is equal to pi. And we can do it in another way. We can consider the first part of this ring. I draw it here. So this is the first ring. And I shade it in red. And now we are going to add up another ring, the second ring, which is here. And this second ring, its outer radius is exactly equal to the inner radius of the first ring. So I can draw it like here, a black one, and then another ring here. And I shade it in black. This is the second ring. And for the third one, the process is exactly the same. And we are adding up infinite number of this ring, which is exactly equal to the an circle with radius of 1. So we have a circle of pi r square which is equals to pi 1 square which is also equal to pi. For the second part of the surface area, we are going to calculate the lateral surface area which is the curved surface area of the cylinder. For the curved surface area, we know that the formula is given by 2 pi r h. So now, we plug in all the values. This is equal to 2 pi. The radius is equal to 1 over n. And the height is equal to 1. And we are taking the summation from n equals 1 to infinity. So what is this sum? We take out the 2 pi to the front, leaving 1 over n inside the summation. And this summation is the harmonic series, which is divergent. So we know that the area of this wedding cake is also divergent because it is a sum of the lateral surface area and also the ring surface area. So now we know that the Gabriel's wedding cake is exactly the same property as the Gabriel's horn. For the Gabriel's horn, it can be filled but not paint. And for the Gabriel's wedding cake, it can be eaten but not froze. And thank you very much for your attention for this video. And if you like my video, click the like button and subscribe to my channel. And also you can visit to my Instagram page, Fibing Math. We will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.